In this video, I give you a tour of the Clear Creek Recreation Area in the Bankhead National Forest, and I also show you the best campsites. We share the best camping locations in the USA. Hi guys, we hope you enjoy the video. Check out our RV and camping related gear at our Amazon storefront. Link in video description. Okay folks, so a good place to start Here's the, it was with the map, here's the entrance station. I'm out here right now at the Bayleaf Shelter. There are restrooms out here, a couple pavilions. It's right on a point. We have a beautiful view of the lake. Uh, this is Smith Lake, which is an expansive lake. Then I'm going to come up and take you to the picnic area. Uh, they have a swimming beach. They have another shelter area. This is a very large day use area. And then we're going to go over to the campground at Clear Creek Recreation Area. They have a, uh, you can get 50% off if you have an access pass or a senior pass. So you want to keep that in mind. Um, we're going to check the camping out and I'm going to show you the best campsite. Melody and Milo are, are out with me today for this recon. And uh, this is the Bay Leaf Shelter Area. There's a couple pavilions out here. Lots of paved walking trails that we've noticed in the day use area. Here's the Elm Shelter. Yeah, these paved walking trails are like, we've seen these all throughout the day use area. There's supposed to be a trail that takes you from the day use area over to the campground. I, uh, my understanding, it's like a 1.8 mile trail. Here comes a boat Put on Smith Lake. This guy's clipping along pretty good. He's slowing down, must be a wake area coming up. But it's a real pretty day use area, I'll give it that. Nice and quiet today. It's been raining here in Alabama. I'm recording this video in April of 2024. And uh, so we had a break in the rain today. Melody and I thought we'd come out and check out this recreation area and the campground. See if it earns a spot on our camping map. Look at this. I will say the water is clear. And here's one of the lakeside picnic areas you have in the day use area. You walk you out. This is a good example of one of these. You park your car up here and you have these cute little picnic areas. They're even numbered. This is picnic area 51. You can come out in here and have a picnic with a view of the lake. And then in the central portion of the day use area, you have more restroom facilities. And this cute little walking trail that uh, perimeters the lake. I think I told you we're, I'm recording this video in April of 2024. Uh, everything's blooming out here, folks. This is the swimming beach. You can see where they have it roped off. You have this nice paved walking trail. 
goes around the perimeter and then you have these benches all around the lake and look how nice this water is Clear Creek Recreation Area in the Bankhead National Forest. Let's go over and check out the campground. And I'll only be showing you the best campsites, folks. And at Clear Creek Recreation Area, they also have a pretty nice boat ramp and courtesy dock with a large parking lot Got a set of restrooms down here, big turnaround area. Pretty sweet, folks. Nice facilities here. Okay, we've arrived at some lakeside camping. I'm standing right in front of Fox Loop. I'm going to take a walk through here, show you the best campsites. Some of these campsites are double campsites. I like that campsite. That's campsite four, but it's a double campsite. So you're going to pay more money for that campsite. Now, I'm not a big fan of the double campsites. Let's continue to walk this loop. Okay, so this one's going to go down the book, folks. This is campsite number five. Yeah, buddy. Campsite 5 going down the book. Let's go back and take a look. Got a pay parking pan. You got water. There's no sewer. You got a dump station on the way out. I'll show you that on the way out. This is uh, 3050 amp electric service. Nice looking electric boxes. Nice sitting area and look at that water view. Got a couple different um, uh, lamp holders. Got a grill, picnic table, and a fire ring back in here. Put the fire ring right under the trees. But not a bad deal, folks. And this is a view from your sitting area right outside of the RV. Pretty sweet. Campsite number five going down the book for Clear Creek Recreation Area Campground. Some of these sites got a little grade to them. The one I just passed on the right-hand side uh, had a little drop-off, so... I wasn't too king on that one, but uh, here's another one of these double sites. See, double sites. Campsite tends a double site with for a double fee. Yeah, don't want that one, folks. Not unless you're camping with somebody. Well, what the hey? Back to back double sites. Site number 12, another double site. Site number 14 is going to be another double site. What were they thinking? They're nice sites, but double site means double the money. And the single sites off to the left have a grade on them. I mean, my uh, auto level would not appreciate that site. Nice looking double sights though. Hey, I think I found one. It's my favorite number. Campsite 17. Uh, that site's not all that long. You have to look on recreation.gov and see how long that site is, but uh, that won't work for me. I'm sure you're not allowed to park off of the parking pad. So, uh, but if you have a medium to small size camper, I have a 29 foot fifth wheel and I'd be cutting it close. But I'm gonna show you this since the pickings are slim, at least in this loop, because all those double sights. 
3050 amp electric service. You got water, nice lake view. I will give it that nice lake view. There's a couple more sites in this loop left, but this is site 17. So if you have a smaller camping configuration, site 17 may work for you folks. Site 18 is kind of wonky. It's going, you got a grade going up the hill there, so I'm not recommending that site. But if your pickings are slim, that's what site 18 looks like. You do have a wonderful water view although you do have these obstructions with the trees. And site 20 is another site where you have a grade on that site. You have a better view, but that is for a smaller camping configuration. Again, you can check the length of the site on recreation.gov. Well, that site's back there. Here's what the restroom and shower house facility looks like. Let's check this out. So uh, clean and serviceable is how I would describe it. You get uh, flush toilets, a uh, urinal, a sink, shower, You even got a sitting spot over here. So, doable, folks. Okay, well, this is the Hoot Owl Loop, campsites 35 through 60. So, let's go see if we have any campsites I can recommend in here, folks. Well, I'm picky about my campsites, folks, so that's why I didn't show you a lot of those. I'm not going to go into all the reasons why. But uh, this one I do recommend, Campsite 43. I'm not a big fan of the Half Moon Campsite, but this will work. And you have a water view right outside of your sitting area. I could get my fifth wheel in here. The site's large enough for my 29 foot fifth wheel and tow vehicle. You got 30, 50 amp electric service. Nice looking box. Shower house, another shower house is over there. There's your water. But, and even if you're tent camping, here's your tent pad right there. But take a look at that campsite. Um, that'll work. And then your sitting area is sweet. There's no drop off right outside your door. So this is what you're looking at from your campsite sitting area. Campsite 43 going down in the book for you folks. And continuing to walk the loop. Campsite 45 is going to go down in the book. That's 45 we're looking at right here. This is a single site. There's no tree obstructions to, to the rear of the site, so you could bring your wheels clear back to the back. Thirty fifty amp electric service. This is your view out of your rear, rear window if you have one in your RV. And out of your sitting area, this is the view from your sitting area. You got a little trail that goes down to the to Smith Lake. In fact, let's go down in there and check this out. Who else gives you a walking tour like this, folks? Nobody does it like living our dream now. Oh, it's pretty. This is pretty. Clear Creek Recreation Area, and it does have clear water. Right here in Alabama.
Folks, I'm able to create videos like this because I've visited over a thousand free and affordable camping locations from coast to coast. Our channel is all about free and affordable RV camping. If you like this type of content, pound the like button and make Melody happy. Not bad for right off of the campsite, folks. You got a, your fire ring sunk in the ground, but you do have one. Yeah, this one will work. This is this one's going on my camping map, folks. Campsite 45. That's a keeper, folks. Campsite 45. And yeah, they put a double campsite in there. So that won't work for me. That's campsite 46. Double the site, double fee. Campsite 47 is a single campsite. You can put that down in the book. That's a nice site. And it's long enough, I do believe. Although it's got a tree right to the rear of the site. So I would say no, that won't work for me, but check recreation.gov for the length of the site and see if it'll work for you. Not enough fudge factor there for me. I have a 29 foot fifth wheel. Site 49 is going to be a keeper. And that one you have some you have some room to play with. So you can bring your wheels clear back to the end of the pavement. Because uh, that tree's far enough back. Let's go down and take a look at site 49. This is site 49. This one would work for me. Let's see what the view's going to look like. And I know. Yeah. Sometimes I get surprised. That's why I did the check. 30, 50 amp electric service. Sometimes they snork you. Put a 30 amp in a 50 amp box. Um, not all that great. I like the other view better. Yeah. Yeah, this one's not going to go down the book for me. There's other better camping opportunities that I showed you back there where I walked down to the creek or the lake. But I'll give you another shot back. Site 49, I'm not enthused with the view from Site 49. Won't work for me, but may work for you. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, this is going to work. This is right across from the shower house. Yet another shower house. This is Site 51. It's a handicap site. Um, and... That is a nice site, folks. It's a single site. This is going down in the book. And this is a pretty nice view. It's a much better view. Cool beans. And you can even walk down to the lake. So let's do that. Yep, bring your chair down here. This will work, folks. This one will work, folks. Yeah, it will. This is why I do this. I love doing these videos, folks. Because uh, you ever make an online reservation not knowing what the campsite's going to look like, and you get there and it sucks? Well, you won't have that problem if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you watch our videos before you make your reservation. This campsite works, folks. Campsite 51 going down the book, folks. Not as good as the last campsite, but it'll still do as 52, site 52. 
is right here and I tell you why you got a little rise coming out of your door you see that four by four or six by six whatever it is probably a six by six uh, you got a little you got a little drop off right outside your door but hey I'm picky folks uh, but you can't beat the view a very nice view this is a single campsite Thirty fifty amp electric service water. You're right across from the shower house. You can also walk down the lake from here. And there's a little spot cleared. Yeah, I'm glad I came out to do a reconnaissance today. A clear creek, clear creek recreation area. And the campground host came along when I was at that handicap site. And uh, they actually said their favorite site's the next campsite up. And that's where I'm taking you right now. We're going to check it out. Campsite 52 going down the book for you folks. And right up from campsite 52 is campsite 53. And uh, the host was saying they like 53 because you can pull in and you have the privacy because your RV is basically going to give your sitting area a lot of privacy and uh, this is a sitting area You've got a place for a tent pad this that sunken in we've had a lot of rain the last couple days that's your sunken in uh, fire pit uh, surely wouldn't work if it was raining <laughs> you do have steps going down there but this is nice let me give you another view. So lengthwise, this Site 53 will work for a larger camper. Uh, it will wor work for me. You'll be the judge if it'll work for you. That's Site number 53, 3050 amp electric service and water going down in the book for you with a water view. Folks, what you're looking at on your screen is Google Maps. I have some administrative notes for you. Uh, this campground, Clear Creek Recreation Area, is located right here in the Bankhead National Forest in Alabama. It's uh, located in the southern end of the forest. This is Birmingham, Alabama, Interstate 65 going up through here, Interstate 22 going up by Jasper. Let me zoom in a little bit for you. And I want to show you how you should go in, uh, at least my perception of how you should get in there. Um, when we went to visit Clear Creek Recreation Area, it routed me in this road right here. And that was not big rig friendly. I came out this road right here, and this is big rig friendly. This is 195 going down to Manchester. And if you take Fall City Road, you see that how, what a straight line that is? Fall City Road will take you right in to the Clear Creek Recreation Area. So that's the way I would recommend going in with a camping configuration. Like I said, I went out this road here, and it is signed. If you're, you're on 257, There'll be a sign pointing you toward the uh, Clear Creek Recreation Area, but I wouldn't consider that big rig friendly. Um, and you have some some trees that appeared to be low hanging. That gave me a little pause. So I went back out this way, and this is a much, much better road. And I'm sure most people that come in, come in on this Fall City Road. So I wanted to point that out to you as far as self-service. Um, uh, at portions of the campground, we did not have T-Mobile service, none. Other portions, we had one bar. Uh, the strongest carrier was Verizon with two bars, and that was usable. AT&T AT was one bar, and, and it was usable. Um, so I'm going to leave you with some photos and, and uh, some clips on the way out. I hope you enjoyed the video, folks. I hope you got something out of it. 
that's why i make them.